In this short video, I'm going to show you how to assess common method bias in Smart PLS 4. There's no real built-in method, although if you go according to Ned Cox 2015 paper, Common Method Bias in PLS SEM, you can use a full collinearity assessment to check for method bias. Essentially, you're going to look at the VIFs in the inner model, and if those VIFs are less than or equal to 3.3, then that's an indication that your model can be considered free of common method bias. If you have VIFs above 3.3, then you have some method bias, or at least it's an indication of it. So let's go try it on a complex model like this one. All you have to do is calculate PLS algorithm. We're going to use the path weighting scheme standardized and start calculation. Now we're going to go straight to the report. And then down here, let me zoom in. You can see we have collinearity diagnostics. Just click on that. The default is to show you the outer model, that is the measurement model. Let's instead look at the inner structural model. And I'll zoom back out. Smart PLS4 will color anything that is less than 3.3 green and anything more than 3.3 red. Let's scroll over. Looks like we're good there. So all of our VIFs are less than 3.3, which means we do not have any indication of strong method bias. Now, if one of them was greater than 3.3, there's not actually a lot we can do except to discriminate it from the variable it is highly collinear with. So for example, we have burnout for management and management unfairness. These result in a 2.046 VIF. Let's pretend that was above 3.3. What we'd want to do is find out which of the management unfairness items are strongly correlated with the burnout for management items. We could do that by going back and save and go back again. We want to look at the data set. We're going to double click on the data set and then look at indicator correlations. This will produce a matrix for you. And we want to check BM against MU, management unfairness. For some reason, it's duplicating each column. I'm not sure what's causing that, but that's all right. Here's MU, Management Unfairness. We want to see which items are strongly correlated with Burnout for Management. Let me zoom in. Here we go. Ooh, it looks like we do have some fairly strong correlations here. In fact, it looks like Burnout for Management 1, which again is in the first two columns. I'm not sure why. Uh, that has a very strong correlation. Burnout for Management 2 also has a pretty strong correlation with management unfairness. So if we were to omit one and two, we'd probably find lower VIFs. We can test that theory if we zoom out, go back to our model, get rid of emotional exhaustion, and don't forget to get rid of it in here. If you have a higher order construct, here's one is hiding up here, and two. And let me hide that again. And we'll run this again and check the VIFs. You may recall it was two point something. We go to report, look at collinearity diagnostics here and inner model. And it, it's not much different, 2.045, maybe it's a little bit lower. But that is roughly how you'd go about separating those. And that's it. That's how you assess for method bias in Smart PLS 4.